Hello, this is my variant patch notes from day 4 7.12. We're going to look at the gecko and sky changes in this patch. Um, and there's also a new map called Drift for TDM. I do think it's quite cool that they're adding new maps for, for uh, TDM. Um, so look at gecko first. Reclaim for Dizzy, Wingman and Thrash. Reduce reclaim channel time from 2 seconds to 1 second. Uh, and Dizzy. Once Dizzy is ready to shoot and sees the target, they will shoot faster and the projectile will travel faster. Pre-fire targeting delay decreased from 0.5 seconds to 0.35 seconds and missile speed increased from 7k to 10k. So I don't think you'll feel this too much uh, on either side um, if you're playing Gecko or if you're playing against Gecko or with Gecko. But I do think you'll feel this if you're playing against Gecko mainly. Uh, I do think the Gecko can feel this a bit too, but I don't think it's a particularly massive um, for, for Gecko because a lot of the time what this does is it prevents the lazier dizzies or like the not exactly lazier dizzies but the like the free throw type dizzies where you're you're like throwing them just through doorways and things it makes those a bit better than they used to be they're more likely to get a tag off right i don't think they will versus good players anyway with 0 0.35 seconds they might do it depends on obviously if you have aggro and that kind of stuff but i think overall this will help you a tiny bit in those sort of situations the lineups i don't think this really matters for uh, because most of the time with the dizzy lineups is that they won't actually it it kind of um they used to be active before they used to see people sometimes or just a bit as i saw things so in some ways this might actually be a nerf to some of the lineups because the noise of it being active will be um like projecting faster um so it means that people might be more ready before the dizzy actually is visible if that makes sense i'm not sure if i really explained that very well but yeah, I'm pretty sure that it might be a nerf in some situations for some lineups, but for the most part, I think this is net buff um, anyway. Um, and um, the reclaim time, so I want to go up to reclaim time. Uh, Dizzy will benefit from this the most, but I also don't think this is a massive change. So what this does is essentially means that you save a second um, and you can do something else in that second. The thing is with Varant is that it's not exactly like the fastest game at all times. There's going to be times where this second matters. There's going to be times where it doesn't. Um, so it's not exactly the most reliable change. And on top of that as well, when we're looking at cooldown changes, we're going to be asking ourselves, can we get an extra thing from this cooldown, right? So can I get an extra Dizzy? Can I get an extra Wingman? Can I get an extra Thrash from this? Well, you can't get an extra Thrash. But you can get, can I get an extra Dizzy in the round? Can I get an extra Wingman in the round? The answer is no. Plainly no. Um, one second is not going to be enough to change that. You're going to get the same amount of dizzies that you would normally get anyway. The same with Wingman. Um, you'll get the same amount um, as dizzies. So the, 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 so the cooldown doesn't really matter too much. If they wanted to get more dizzies in the round, they'd have to change the main cooldown. And obviously that's probably not the aim of this change. It's probably just to minimise the downtime that Gecko has where he doesn't have his abilities. Um, but yeah, I mean, or he doesn't have... Uh, like, what, like he doesn't have his gun out and he doesn't have his abilities, that makes sense. Um, so he just minimizes downtime a tiny bit, I think, I think is the aim of this change. Um, actually, I probably could have looked at that, but whatever. Um, so we look at Sky next. Um, so her tra trailblazer got changed. Camera movement is disabled during leap. When the trailblazer is destroyed during the leap, it no longer causes a concuss explosion. Trailblazer plays as a destruction voice line when destroyed during the leap. Um, and trailblazer explosion now concusses allies as well as enemies. So this just makes it consistent with Thrash. Um, and then we've got camera movement is disabled during leap. This is actually quite a big change because it actually disrupts a lot of the best pathing for the dog. So the dog had a lot of paths where you would leap at the end and swing the camera around so you could see everything. So there's going to be like places in like split A main, for instance, where you can no longer actually clear everything because you can't leap. And there's going to be plenty of angles where that's now the case. So the sky dog actually got quite a big nerf and that you won't be able to clear everything with the leap anymore. Um, so you, they would actually have to, to, as it says in, I think, up here somewhere, that, that people actually have to choose yeah, uh, extra distance with the leap versus fully clearing angles, right? So they have to choose what angle they actually clear with the leap, um, which is really, really good for like making Sky a bit more balanced because it means that the good players won't be as affected um, because they, they might be able to have a bit more of a like read on where the enemy might be so they can actually choose the correct angles to kind of with the leap but it's going to be a nerf a lot more for like lower players where they don't actually have that type those types of reads um oh sorry um so when the trailblazer is destroyed during the leap it only causes a concussive explosion this is nice because it's like it stops any sort of like situations where dead if you like dead if i like concussed if i don't and concussed if i do kind of situation where if you shot the dog 
you would just be concussed anyway. It kind of pointless. It was similar to um, like blast satchel, like satchels as well from from rays, where if you shoot the satchel, you the explosion goes off and hits you anyway. So there's not like no point in like hitting in, like shooting the satchel. No, there is actually kind of a point to it, right, where you don't take the damage because the actual one point five seconds. And obviously, that's a very minor thing to the, what that change actually did for rays. Um, it was very much aimed at something completely different. Like uh, I think it was killing cipher traps. Um, so yeah, I think these overall these changes. This is a quite a big change. Um, and I think this can be a quite a big change sometimes. Um, and send me this one. Um, so I do think there are some like decent changes in this uh, in these updates. Uh, and that's kind of it for for the uh, patch. There are some bugs there, but I don't think anything was uh, massive. Uh, there are some performance updates for raw input buffer, which could be interesting. Um, and that's kind of it for the patch. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.